Aloha everyone, welcome back to Viva Hawaii. I'm your host, Maria Mera, and uh, in our show we love to talk to you about how we live in Hawaii, how life is in the islands. And today we're going to focus in the area of Kakaako. And to help us talk about this uh, zone, this area, we have here Duane Komine. Duane is the general manager of the Tower Hokua. And Hokua is one of the most luxurious residential towers in Kakako. And he has been awarded uh, the accredited residential manager of the year in, the, in all the US. So we have the best uh, general manager out there. Um, hola, muy buenas tardes y bienvenidos a Viva Hawaii. En nuestro programa nos gusta que veáis cómo vivimos en Hawaii, cómo vivimos en las islas. Y para ello hoy nos hemos enfocado en la zona de Kakako. Y nos hemos traído como invitado a Duane Comine. Duane es, uno, es el director residencial de la Torre de Jokua, que es una de las torres residenciales más lujosas de la zona. Y eh, además ha sido galardonado con el premio al mejor general manager del año en 2015. Eh, thank you very much, Duane. And we are talking in English today to accommodate to our guests. Uh, so thank you very much for being here in the studio with us. Thank you for having me, Maria. Uh, so you were born and raised in Hawaii, right? Yes, I was born here, raised here, and I shall stay here in Hawaii. And you've seen many changes. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about the past and the, uh, and the future of Kakaako. But uh, tell us how would you, for those of, uh, in our audience who don't know what Kakaako even is, uh, could you describe? Well, Kakaako is a new, vibrant community that erupted about 20, 20 years ago, um, 1986, when they built the first co uh, condominium rural capital plaza. And since then, uh, from the eight CDA process, since then, there's been so many condos being built, um, already built in Aru Tower, you have Wahunua, you have Kolani. All so mainly many. residential towers. Oh, so. Luxury condominiums, correct. Yeah. Okay, so I went a little bit in the history, uh, and it seems like in Kakako in the 1800s was uh, ba basically an area with salt ponds and fish ponds making, and it's going, uh, what they call it now, uh, to an urban oasis. So let's show a video for, again, those who don't know the area or those who know the area and want to know a little more, and then we'll keep talking. Uh, vamos a ver un video de Kakako para aquellos que no conocéis la zona o para aquellos que la conocéis si queréis saber un poquito más. Vamos a, a ver el video. Thank you. 
Well, um, I give faith is one of the most beautiful places on earth, right? Or uh, Absolutely. Uh, you, you completely agree, right? <laughs> because you also, you are a resident of Kakako. You don't only, only work there, you correct, live, correct. live there. Um, but all, not all is beautiful in paradise. There are some controversy and uh, some, uh, my, my numbers say that um, in, in 1990, 2200 people live in Kakako. In 2,6200, by 2010, over 10,000 people, and now they are talking about probably increasing 30 to 40,000 more people living in the area. Uh, is the infrastructure going to hold, the sewage, the traffic, water pipes? And that's a really good question. The, um, the, the boom for real estate has grown, obviously, and for the infrastructure, I am quite satisfied that they have done the due diligence and the permitting and so forth. So. You know, question is, is do we have too much? I mean, are we oversaturated with luxury condominiums and or do we need more affordable units? So um, it's, it's a, I got a good question, but you know, there's so much other questions that you can ask. Um, so I've heard about affordable units. Uh, in these buildings that, how much can a unit go for? How much are they selling them for right now? The price, well, the price mark and the price point, you know, at Night for Hukua, we're looking at maybe a, um, a thousand plus per square foot. Um, you know, I don't know the average. I'm not a real estate um, Let's agent. talk about just yeah. one unit, maybe. Yeah. Um, oh, we can get one unit. We can, um, in the market for 2.5 million and, and all, I mean, it escalates as well. You know? And usually those services price uh, food markets, they price to the clients and so is it, is, is it, does it make sense that those affordable uh, units live together with uh, prices well, that high or? Good question. I, I don't know how to answer that, but um, it's the location. I mean, you know, where, where they are, the, the real estate for Hoku is concerned anyway. But, yeah. um, and, and to be honest, and, um, I heard that affordable housing in Kakaako is going to be for a family of four, uh, a salary of 120,000 a year, which seems pretty good for affordable housing, no? Yeah, especially where the location is, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, how, many, how many units do you know? Is, is this... Mm, all those units that are being sold, are, are, are they coming from offshore money? Are these investments that they want to then get more money? Uh, just Well, I have 19 units at Hoku for sale. Um, most people are just moving on, or I've got third ownerships, or um, people who are moving on to bigger condominium units that are opening up around town as well. So, you know, it's moving. It's, you know. So, so you think they are investing also to? Oh, absolutely! They are, everybody's investing in Kakaako. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's a new hub of Honolulu. Yeah. So, tell us a little more how you live in the Kakaako in the when you were a kid and the Kakaako now. What? How? How have you seen? What did you? What have from your eyes? What have well, you seen? Well, uh, 30 years ago, I've been in the district for 30 years, and it has changed drastically. In 1976, when HCD was um, converted to making condominiums uh, residential, uh, it has changed the face of Kaka'ako. The Kobayashi McNaughton Group has changed the face of Ala Moana forever. Mm -hmm. With Hokua, we have um, Park Lane as well, and the philosophy behind that being the, the luxury condominiums, resort-style living condominiums, is something that was never heard of before in Hawaii. And Hokua being the benchmark has set the trend. Mm -hmm. you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Hokua later, but um, so who decides uh, what goes where in Kakaako? Is it the HCDA? Is it the uh, who? Because I, 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 we, you hear so many political maneuvers mm -hmm. and... That question, I, I really can't answer that question. I, I don't know how it's, uh, how it's done, but there's ruling in the HCDA area, mm -hmm. if you're in that area, but um, I, I don't know how to answer that question. Okay. I'll get back to you. Um, well, let's let's go to a break. Let's do let's take a breather here, and then we'll we'll come back and we'll talk more about what you know and and Hokua and the beautiful life that you're building there. Vamos okay. a hacer un descanso y vamos a oh. All right. 
break. Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you get excited about my new show, which is Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. We're going to broadcast on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. here on uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Looking to energize your Friday afternoon? Tune in to Stand the Energy Man at 12 noon. Aloha Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Abachi Talk. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm your co-host. And we have a nice program here every Friday at 1 o'clock uh, on Think Tech Studios where we talk about technology and we have a little bit of fun with it. So join us if you can. Thanks. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Kawi Lucas, host of Hawaii is my mainland here on Think Tech Hawaii every Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. Start your Pauhana weekend off with the show where I talk to people about issues pertinent to Hawaii. You can see my previous shows at my blog, kawilucas.com, and also on ThinkTech's show. Sorry. So sorry about that. We just went to a picture of uh, Jack Laurie at the top of the Ilikai in 1968 uh, that Dwayne provided for us. And you can see in the background how Kakaako was before. And so you can see the difference of how it's being built now. Um, so esa es la foto de Jack Lord, eh, protagonista de Hawaii 5 y está en uno de los edificios y se ve que Kakaako todavía no había nada construido. So Dwayne, uh, back to back to nowadays and we are in Hokuba you are accredited mm, residential manager of the year in 2015 in all the US what does it take to be to be the best property manager oh, <laughs> thank you for saying that um, I, I'm very proud to be nominated from Hawaii and you know it's it's years of um, hard work you know and creating a staff a team working with a board a developer that has great philosophy and doing giving back to the community such as you know helping other condominiums as well and other organizations and being a part of that. But most importantly, um, you need to love what you do. You need to like what you do. And we've been doing it nearly three decades and starting from a janitor to the position that I am today. Um, Hokua being the benchmark of the state of Hawaii for uh, condo resort management, for I'm concerned, is, is a, it's a so, so it's kind of between a hotel and a, an apartment building. It's a condominium with resort services. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Do you work, uh, you said you also try to be a community builder with the other, do you work with the other buildings and Howard Hughes and uh, do you guys get together and uh, or? I have an, asso uh, an association group organization which uh, has, we have about 15 members, all residential condominium managers, veterans and comparable buildings. We meet every two months and we're called the super block and we sit there for an hour and we discuss current events and you know what we learn in the, that one hour, it takes years pretty mm -hmm. much to learn. And you know, having the group with everybody's knowledge is amazing, you know. And do you reserve your own knowledge a little bit just because it's, they are after all your competitors? I, good, good question, but uh, no, we share. And this is what made the group much closer um, because this group before, we were never close, you know. Everybody yeah. had their own, you know, information and so forth. But now that we share, we, we go to the next level. So it, it, it's, it's, it's monumental. What kind of residence does Hokua have? Is it mainly, uh, I know there is a lot of Japanese in the area. Is it mm -hmm. mainly Japanese or is it 50-50? The face of um, uh, Hokua, or, or for us anyway, is, you know, the face of the, the ownership is, you know, going to Asian, um, you know, it, 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 we have so many different cultures there, but primary the people who live there are, are very established in what they do. Mm -hmm. And you have, we've seen swimming pool, jacuzzi, uh, sauna, gym, cabanas, mm -hmm. everything that you can and more. Plus, you know, not only that, uh, you have properties, you have restaurants also in the same tower and uh, her salon, right? Yes, For we what? have a mixed commercial use, as a mixed commercial use of building. So we have, like you said, restaurants, Panya, we have Tango, we have Bank of Hawaii, we have Salon Blanc, and of course the developers. And you are also there. managing all, all that? Well, we manage the entire property. So, and you live in the same tower? Yes. So do you ever stop working or do they let you stop working or it's all? <laughs> 
I live in a fishbowl, and I, I, I pretty much you like avoid, what I do. Uh, uh, do you avoid residents or some no, of them? No, I, I, you can't do that. And, and do you have a favorite it's resident? It's a political <laughs> thing. It's like, you know, you have your own community, and, yeah. you know, um, I like what I do. And uh, Yeah, it's, it's more your life, your mm. quality of life, or your style of life, yeah. right? Um, what are the HOA for this, for a place like uh, in, in Hokua? What do you mean? The HOA, the, the how much, who, who pays for all these expenses? The owners uh, pay for the maintenance, maintenance fees, through their maintenance fees, um, it's, which is billed monthly, and it's like rent, but it's the maintenance fees that take care of the entire building. You know, okay. So. Okay. Um, Dwayne, I want to, I, I like to get to know my, my guests at a personal level <laughs> and also as a professional level, but I like to ask you a couple of questions that, um, that I usually sure. to get to know the person better. So whatever comes out of your mind first, then uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is pasta. I, I, I like, I is really like Italian. Is it Italian pasta? Or, yeah. Okay, Italian? I really like pasta. So can we say which place do you go for? Well, well, I like to go to, you know, Bellini's, uh, Asagio. Okay. And I, I like that very much. Okay, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> maybe not 100% because I have that Spanish heart in me, but 99%. Uh, mm, <laughs> Your favorite drink? <laughs> I well, I I like to have um, a white wine at the end of the day. White. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, uh, any favorite specifically? Uh, just, not, not really. Just you okay. Know, anything that tastes Italian? good. Italian. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Your favorite movie. My favorite movie was. That's really. Hawaii Five O. <laughs> no, not Hawaii Five O. Actually, it was Bye Bye Birdie with Anne Margaret, and um, that, was, that was one of my favorite movies. Okay, you got me there. Okay. Again. What is it about? It's it's a, it's like about Elvis, but it's a it's you gotta watch. It's called Bye Bye Birdie. Okay. I used to, I used to watch that. I'll a lot. put it in my list. Favorite song or kind of music. Mm, my favorite song. My, this reminds me of my wife. I like that song, Sweet Thing by Shaka Khan. Okay. I'm throwing you going off, to do eh? a lot of research <laughs> after this, so, <laughs> but uh, I like it. Uh, your favorite place? Favorite place would probably be hmm. Hmm. Um. or maybe the concept. Is it beach or mountain or city or? I for for me, um, I like entertainment. So being on a concert stage or something like that is is what I like to do. So being uh, a musician, yeah. And so it's, it's more a situation more than yeah. a place itself. You know, audience. Okay, yes. Well, yeah. then you must be you <laughs> must be at ease right now. No. <laughs> the best moment of your life or the one that you remember? My best moment of my life is, I guess, like having my, my well, marrying my wife, obviously. And secondly, it was sec the best moment of my life was actually opening up Hokua. Okay, that was like a little baby for you, or? Yeah, it was something new for the state of Hawaii, and, and we did it. You, you felt like you were building something important for we the community. It, yes. um, your favorite hobby, although I think I, my favorite you hobby, answer that. I'm a musician, I'm a drummer, so I performed drums for 30 years, so I, I enjoy playing drums. I enjoy beating things. Where, where can we watch you play? Oh, I don't play anymore, so. <laughs> I'm more retired You now. should. It's in your heart, right? No? Well, we'll talk about that later. Um, what qualities do you like most in a person? Do you look for in a person? Integrity. I, 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 to me, integrity and looking first and straight in the eye. You know, surround yourself with positive people, positive influential people cultivates me. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it will, if the world did this, everyone would be you know, the world would be such a better place. And who is the most important person for you? The most important person to me, uh, for me, is in my family, um, you know, keeping me, keeping me there, you know, because um, my work can get me out there real far. They keep and, you grounded. Yeah. And uh, how, what is your dream? How do you see yourself? Mm. Continuing what I'm doing. So um, you're living your dream, basically. Yes, I, I, I really enjoy what I do. I actually really do enjoy what I do. And how would you like to be remembered? Uh, that's a good question. I, I would like to be remembered that, you know, perseverance and working hard, you know, like starting as a janitor and worked your way all the way up 30 years and, and you get 
such buildings that, that I have, um, that to me is the best thing I ever did, you know, so. So you, you're there already. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but it took a long time to get there, but tell me, it. Tell me an anecdote related to Hokua that you, of, of something that has happened and you don't usually mm. talk about, or maybe funny, or maybe not, or maybe sad, or the, mm. uh, something that you remember. Well, I remember having, I remember the earthquake we had back uh, a few years ago when I was in the building, and actually, when we had the earthquake from the Big Island, our building actually swayed back and forth, you know, and, you know, waking up out of a I deep remember sleep that, yeah. and waking up and actually seeing the building doing this was something that I will never forget. Yeah, you know? because in Hawaii, you usually have, uh, you're more used to hurricanes, mm -hmm. storms. Earthquake but you, is earthquake. a little bit not off my Richter scale, you know. Mm -hmm. Of all the islands, if someone had to come, uh, which ones would you recommend? I would go to Maui. I like Maui a lot. For That's me, your favorite? Maui. Yes. Why? It's a, it's laid back. It's you know you you go there all intense with a lot of emotions and so forth. But when you come back, you're actually you're calm and everything is slow. You know, so you have to start all over. So again. for you, Honolulu, I'm, I'm you're talking to someone who is from a European city <laughs> <laughs> of uh, six million people. Uh, so for you, Honolulu is already pretty hectic. Yes. Oh, well, it's it's it's. It's hustle bustle, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a vibrant community. Who who makes that? Is it the Hawaiians or the? Uh, it's just Hawaii. The people, the amount of people we have here. You mm -hmm. know, it's, it's there's a lot the of work being done here. A lot of condos being built. A lot of traffic. Uh, everybody's working. Do you see yourself living somewhere else? Uh, not at the moment. No. <laughs> You like it here. Yeah. Um, if if you could live somewhere else and you were retired, would you still pick a condominium sort of like Hokua, or would you prefer to live in a house? Or I probably wanted to go to Spain. Really? <laughs> You're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> that was very that flattering. Uh, my wife and I will. My wife was. Uh, she lived in Spain as well. So yeah. She yeah. Will, I, I we met will her. Go, uh, go back one day. Okay, well, I'm here for you whenever you need some advice or, or some tour guide. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, um, t tell us more, how do you uh, relate to the residents? Uh, you see them more as friends or you have to be careful? Well, you know, they, I have an open door policy, number one. Number two, um, I have all the residents and owners that I, I deal with, I, we, I have an open relationship with them. The door is always open, I can, I can speak with them. Mm -hmm. um, I frankly rarely have have any problems with are they there. mostly the owners live there or do they rent I have a 60 40 percent you know um, okay about the owners that live there and then have rentals as well yeah I know Kakako the percentage is 53 percent um, rent mm -hmm. they, they rent so it's, it's mainly uh, people are renting more than mm -hmm. than uh, they stay um, well thank you very much Duane this was a very quick conversation but thank you very much for giving us your view of Kakako of Hokua and we look forward to swimming in that pool it's beautiful thank you <laughs> okay well thank you very much everybody uh, for watching us and uh, we'll wait for you next Monday and uh, here again Viva Hawaii and uh, we invite you to visit Kakako it's a very thrilling very growing uh, neighborhood and uh, it's definitely worth it. Muchas gracias a todos por vernos en Viva Hawaii. Os esperamos el próximo lunes y eh, os invitamos a que vengáis a Hawaii, específicamente a la zona de Kakako. Es realmente una de las mejores zonas, por lo menos que yo he visitado en mi vida. Eh, buenas noches, mahalo.